Now my last question for Michael. Uh, mm -hmm. We have talked earlier about directing. Now I wanted to know about like since you also have done acting, is it much easier for a director s to have an acting experience to actually you know have a better understanding with their actors when you are as the director? Without question, uh, there's a language difference between uh, directors and human beings. <laughs> That's true, I and know. And if you don't have a common basis of reference, it's gonna be difficult. Uh, although, if you have working relationships with people, there's one fellow, uh, Carl Masick, uh, anyone know that name? Uh, basically the man who brought anime to the, uh, the Western yes. world, uh, was crazy because he would do things in terms of directing where we'd say, McConaughey, uh, put some more cheese on it. <laughs> I knew what he went, uh, what, he, what he meant. And there was, uh, at one point, Wally Burr. Yes. <clears throat> Wally Burr. Wally Burr I've knows what Wally. he wants. Wally, Wally Burr was here not too long ago. Yes, Wally Burr is everywhere. <laughs> Wally Burr knows what Wally Burr wants. Wally Burr will go until he gets what he wants. And it's usually something like this. And yes, and he'll always give you a line reading. Mm. But then you know what he wants. However, once he told me, uh, Mr. McConaughey, could you please make it a little more purple? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I did the reading and said, yes, that's it, thanks. The, the dumbest thing I ever had the director say to me was, that was perfect, we just want one more. Could you make it a little brighter on the dark side? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, sure, what the hell? And the stupid, other stupidest thing was, you have one one hundredth of a second, could you finesse Terminal 1 a little more in the next take? And you did. I did. Yes. <laughs> so yes, it is a, a great advantage for a director to be able to speak actor. All right, thank you so much, gentlemen. You're well, welcome. Thanks, Christina.